Yo, what's going on guys? How you doing? Arax here, back with another Monster Hunter Rise video with the squad discussion time. We're talking about Magnamalo because he is uh he's a cool monster, but he is also who he it uh, what who he 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 he's tough. <laughs> he's, tough. Mm -hmm. he's tough. I mean like who that's that that's it. That's my intro. Like he is <laughs> That's the video. <laughs> that's the video, yeah, <laughs> pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> Oof, like him going around the map in it. <laughs> <laughs> yep. That's the sound his tail makes when that he is when he's boiling it up. Yeah, 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 but yeah. So we want to talk about it today because obviously, like, we you know we, we've um been farming it. Obviously, we're well, not farming it. We've been what you were calling it, trying to trying to farm it, trying to defeat him, trying to trying to get those times down. And he is uh, he's just to be clear, just to be clear for those of you guys that haven't seen the official stream that we did with socks, uh, it has been confirmed. He has been juiced, right? He is he is a very strong Magna Marlo unreasonably so he is apparently according to capcom there was someone was like we're gonna make them hurt so he was like let's just turn the <laughs> dial up let's just turn the dial up and juice him uh so he is apparently not a, an accurate depiction of what he will be like in the full game or at least maybe like it's not supposed to be that difficult factoring in in the demo your armor sets don't have skills on he's hella juiced uh so it's mm -hmm. not exactly indicative of a, a real experience hence why everyone's getting clapped so Guys, I like to think that there's there's just people out there that don't know that they juiced him in the demo, <laughs> so they're just playing it and they're just they just don't like, they just don't understand what they're doing wrong. They're yes. like, what am I doing? <laughs> what am I so, doing? I'm, a, I'm an advanced player. <laughs> My hunting career is in the, in the trash, in the gutter. It's true. It's I true, have to but... say though, like on, first on. time hunting him was 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 an experience. Mm. It was like. Oh, oh, we're going to the next level. We got to make sure we are hitting on point and dodging everything. It's an insane fight. It's super fun though. Yeah, when like when you walk in, it's like, oh, uh, he just he just he just tapped me and I'm dead. I'm like, uh, okay, right, I'm just gonna not be hit for this. But but you know, before before we even talk about the difficulty stuff, like just in general, he's just a really cool monster. Like he is. Mm. I mean, obviously, I wanna I wanna like see more of him anyway. But I just feel like he's potentially raised up to be like one of my favorite flagships i just really like him like visually he's very cool don't you say that every game <laughs> no 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 <laughs> but you know what right no but like he's just there's something about so him so what happened to what happened to nerg nerg was never a favorite of mine he was just a cool monster he was never a favorite what happened to glavinus glavinus is one of my favorites he has he's not overtaken glavinus <laughs> i said one of my favorites he's not overtaken laggy he's not overtaken glavinus he's not overtaken t-rex but he's up there in my top rankings of uh of of, of flagships uh okay. i put him above gore yep i said it i said you, it you put him above gore i put him above I'm, gore I'm why I'm, I'm wait 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 you put magna Marlo above gore yeah because he's just so cool he looks like a samurai you, you're an odd guy bro <laughs> you're an odd guy oh. <laughs> Yeah, oh my <laughs> god. I would. I, would like, I don't know, I don't know. Each to their own. Like, everyone's allowed to have their own opinion on it, but like, <laughs> like, I don't know, the frenzy mechanic, everything, like, mm. Gore's like flapping like wings, just in like imposing yeah, silhouette but you know that what, Gore right? has is just amazing. He is, yeah. uh, I, I, as so a creature, cool. yeah, as a creature, true. But the one thing that, like, I mean, there's there's so many cool moves for like Magna Marlo, right? And like, just to be clear, I've seen some people say this online, he's not just a purple Zenoga, right? He is his own monster, right? I'll not have you take it away <laughs> yeah. from it, right? But, um, <laughs> but, right? But, well. but I do really like. That mechanic where you literally leave the mine as the hell blight is so cool, mm. man. As a blight, like I'm so used to just like I've got a blight, let me roll it off. And now it's like let me use this blight and drop it in front of him, and he knocks him over. It's so cool, man. You say he's not just a purple Zenoga. Let me bring out something that happened today. There was a there was a video out there on YouTube that's a three minute dual blade run where someone's just taking the mic <laughs> and they basically just recolored a Zenoga to a purple version. And pretended and overlaid like the Rise UI onto <laughs> onto the screen. We sent I sent it round to everybody. Alex was the only one that didn't notice it was no, no, no. Rise. <laughs> to be clear, I did and notice. It wasn't Magnum but Marlo. it took me. It took, like, I'll be I'll be fair. I'm a little bit tired. It took me about thirty seconds. At first, I was like, I was like, wait, he's in a different map. Hold on. I was like, this is a fast time. And I was like, wait, that Magnum Marlo. Oh, hold on a minute. It's a purple Zenoga. I was like, oh, no, no, no. Literally. <laughs> The second the video started playing, I, looked, I was just like, "Why? Why is this monster on the generations? Like, why? Why are they fighting? Like, what's, you what's going on?" You caught me off guard. Like, you caught me off guard. <laughs> he loves it. He loves it. Uh, I thought the fight was banging. Mm. 
He's a cool yeah. fight. I, it's mechanics are cool, like you said. The, the Hellblight using it offensively, that's so cool. Uh, the, the glowy areas and then, you know, switching up the fight so you focus those glowing spots for, like, the knockdowns and the flinches is really mm. cool as well. It's it's There's a lot going on when you're fighting him. He's very aggressive. He has a lot yeah. of AoE, like, big moves. So you need to make sure you're positioned well. You need to make sure you're constantly damaging him because you will run out of time. Mm, yeah. And you can't overcommit because you if you can't three times you're gone, you know. So I don't know if I like those monsters with those off timing attacks though. That's the thing. Like I I respect it and I understand like what they're trying to do there with like actually getting people as clapped as possible and destroying as many people with that monster as possible. But when they have like kind of faints before they do their actual attack, so you can't tell. Like mm -hmm. you get fainted out by the actual monster. For instance, he has like a tail flip. That's like a a preliminary tail flip mm. and then a massive one comes in so you yeah. always say if you're on the long sword you try to go for the counter on the initial one and then he just comes down and he claps you and mm. I'm, I'm like I, I understand why they put that in but I don't know if I enjoy it I kind of like the more telegraphed like monsters and stuff and mm. kind of maybe why I like ra fighting Raph I think everybody likes fighting Raph and Raphalos like in well because it's just like a nice thing to kind of be up on but yeah, when he's like out here just like juking you and just mashing mm -hmm. you up because mm. you just don't expect what he's going to do it's, it's actually nuts. What, so what, because what, uh, uh, that, that tail flip goes into like a couple moves, doesn't it? It like goes yeah. into like another one, it goes into like a forward kind of slam. And if he's empowered by the thing, that explodes as well. Like, there's a lot of stuff you could do out of that. That was definitely one of the more tricky moves. Hmm. Uh, definitely. So, yeah. It's quite a different fight, um, solo to multiplayer as well. Um, mm. yeah. Just from That's like awesome. him spawning in different places to you know, kind of how he plays, because with multiple people, he's obviously going after others, and then it's more a focus of, oh, is he on me? And mm, where yeah. am I stood in this AoE, you know? Yeah, so I don't know if they should have that difference between multiplayer and the fact that, like, multiplayer always has, like, a restricted spawn. For the speed runs, is kind of, like, another hurdle that you have to cross in multiplayer where you already have, like, health like being increased and a bunch of other things obviously there's more people hitting the monster so you do get like an easier time there but yeah like the fact that the monster can spawn right next to something else means that you're going to be able to cut your time off mm. or have maybe an easier time because mm. uh you have more time on the speed limit i think the thing that killed people more so in the demo wasn't actual magnum Arlo, it was just a time like i don't mm. know yeah. how yeah. many yeah. times I got him out. down to like, yeah, down to like 14 and on the blue or something like that and just timing out and it's the most soul breaking thing. Like, <laughs> yep. don't give up guys, don't give up, keep going, Literally, you'll get it. if the timer was five minutes more, like, I don't think majority of the people who still haven't mm. even completed it, like, would, would have... Even two it. minutes yeah. more, even yeah. two even minutes more, more would, have been, like, yeah. would have been fine. It's literally right, like you, you're you like 13, 14 minutes. The capture icon pops up. You know he's low. You you start sweating. You know that you need to be extra offensive because you're going to time out. And then you still time out anyway. It's just the worst feeling ever. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, when you hit the taps, though, and you actually do kill him, it's the, it's the nicest thing. Like When we finally mm -hmm. got around to actually like defeating him, I was like, yeah! That's just but, it. Um, like, mm. my, I just want to share my experience because like, we were proud. We, but me and 2-6 were both practicing longsword on him for quite a few mm. times. And there was just one evening I was like, let me just try the hunting horn out. And literally, <laughs> don't first don't. time, cleared him with hunting horn with two feints in the hunt as well. Now, somehow, the hunting horn is that strong and does enough damage and knockdowns that it didn't matter if you, if you even faint in the fight. So if you are struggling, whip out the hunting horn, it won't let you down. That's a paradise the guarantee. Horn is hitting the hitting the taps. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I've seen and, people uh, getting some like first time as well with hunting horn and longsword. So it's good. Mm. Yeah, I personally I haven't uh, beaten it yet, unfortunately, but I haven't put too much time into it. Um, but I did spend like one evening on the light bowgun, and I was pleasantly mm. surprised at how fun uh, the entire fight with light bowgun is. Um, there's a lot of like openings you can get like sticky ammo is still fierce uh you, you know it's just there's something about the bowguns in this game just in general like uh just you know against even like mizutsune and like izuchi and stuff like i've just i've just loved using them because mm. you just can really like set up a monster and finesse mm. them and not get hit like you know obviously like bowguns due to his mobility heavy bowguns got the shield it's got the really nice counter 
and stuff like that. So yeah, like I'm, I'm really loving the bow guns, and I think Magnum uh, Magnumalo uh, has made me sort of like really appreciate them uh, as weapons in this one. Definitely, I think mm. like this has given me like uh, admiration, more of an admiration for the game. Like I don't mm. know what it was about this whole fight that's just made me just like rise even more and even monster hunter franchise even more i think that like the difficulty of it it just took me back to school like i was on longsword and i was just trying again and again to get it down and everything and i feel like now i understand i know kung fu you know what i'm saying you know <laughs> yeah. when you just know it like <laughs> and it's just like when you're just hitting those uh those counters and those slashes and just hitting the taps and you learn little things about your weapon and stuff like that and it's given me a want to try and to learn how to speed run I'm probably going to be uh, clapped at it and whatever, but I kind of want to get into it because I can see yeah. like the fun in it. I've mm. always played Monster Hunter way more like casually and whatever. And I don't know if like the community is going to be even welcoming of like new people because the uh, speedrunning community seems like they're their own thing. But it's just nice mm. to see. And I've always been more of a competitive person. Like me and Paradise are way more competitive than I uh, say. Like Vest is kind of halfway there, and Alex is just like oh, I, I'm just I, like, I, I want to hit the monster. <laughs> Have fun. <laughs> I just want to have, have fun. fun, man. Yeah, yeah. Mm. So, um, yeah. So, so for me, seeing this more competitive aspect where people are uploading their time, seeing the way that they're mm. finishing the monsters and everything, mm. it's just an awesome. Um, it's just an awesome way to experience Monster Hunter that mm. I never really like maybe, have delved, in, delved into def- before. Maybe we it's should like a do new lease. Yeah, really some life into the game like for us i've yeah. played it so much and i never mm. really tried to get those super super you know fast what you should players, do you know? right and we're, we're gonna we're, mm. we'll discuss this in the video so that the, com- the comments can help as well you know like in call of duty they used to have like road to road to like gold or whatever it was should have, yeah, yeah. You have two sixes road to two sixes road to speedrunner would you guys watch something like that right obviously would you <laughs> would you have like from from beginnings to like be setting cool. sweaty times is this something you want to see let us know it could be fun we're yeah. gonna sweat it out. Me, it's both me and Paradise are yeah. gonna be doing it. So, um, yeah, if that's something that you guys want to see, obviously the, my ego's just gonna be absolutely blown when you guys are roasting me about that. Why did you foresight slash there? Why did you back hop? <laughs> Why did you get clapped? Why are you using your potions? But like, I'm Why down for it as long as I'm. Get, yeah. Why is the monster not dead yet? Why did you die? Um, as long as I'm learning and you guys are teaching me, because I don't know everything about the game. So hopefully the through a collective community, you guys can educate me on it or everything that's going on there. Because there's little things that I don't know. Like, how do people specifically know, like, every single animation? Like, I still know what the monster's gonna do, but like, I feel like I'm slightly late on the tell for what the animation's gonna be for the mm. next animation, if you know what I'm saying. Like, I can tell what the animation's gonna be when it's kind of like half a second in but i feel like some people can tell what the animation is going to be a point of a second like before, before he's happens. even doing it they're yeah. already like before he's ready doing in the it. right yeah. spot yeah 100 um it's probably just it's just, it's just going to be fun to try it out mm. you know to try and get those quick yeah. times i because i did i i speed ran once in in world specifically it was a uh, nogagante like at launch mm-hmm. and there was a certain like t- technique you could do with the bow with the like the jumping off the wall <laughs> into like the spread shot yeah, that was, that and it was so cool. powerful that you yeah. could kill him in like a minute and it was insane and so i managed to get like a minute and a half which was like close to the time but i'm really excited to see like what we can do with like speed running and different fast clears and stuff like that in world mm. so it should be fun M- most probably try it and then like give up halfway because it's probably like way too hard but we sweated out like so many different games that surely it's hard but it's not that hard we'll see how it goes because i know there's some really talented like speedrunners out there mm, and it's a, just a joy to watch them and uh see how they experience shout out to all the like the tds boys out there just doing mm. it big man mm. and they've kind of like um the way that all of the speedrunners are doing it and you can see like the japanese uh players i think the thing that really sold me on speedruns was this dual blaze player the one that i sent to you Vess. like yeah when i just saw him doing his thing on dual blades just yep. like an absolute madman just some next tech that he was doing i was just like Fam. this is where i, I found my people <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, like i'm not gonna lie like um i haven't followed like too much uh monster hunter speed running. i love speed runs of like other games and stuff like i absolutely love it but um yeah i haven't dipped my toes too much but i do remember back on like monster hunter 4 
um, kind of having a little look and uh, what I found uh, were the kind of Japanese speedrunners and some of mm. them were doing like it wasn't even for time it was for like it was for for bragging rights and for no, style for flex, do, like, for naked him. hunts <laughs> all four of them with a great sword just clapping like um, what's it called you can loss and like stuff like that just doing some absolutely crazy stuff and like having it so that like you know like Tigrex is like jumping at you and then or like Brick you know, Brickidius is jumping at you and then you just clap him and you just dunk him. Like it just just stuff like that. Yeah. Like just absolutely finessing a monster, I think is um is really cool. Um, hmm. but yeah, just by all means like So yeah, Alex, for you specifically, <clears throat> you're one that doesn't really enjoy like the super hard, crazy, stupid monsters for like no other reason than just they're there yeah uh, specific, like no demo ones right where you're not going to get resources off of them there's no real reason to complete them other than saying oh i just beat them blah blah mm-hmm. blah so do you feel like this is a necessary thing or like it should be part of the demo it's interesting right because so like, yeah i mean I, d- I definitely just sort of like add to that like you know i'm, I'm definitely no I w- i'll never sort of like shy away from a challenge but at the same time i'm not like someone who necessarily needs the insane difficulty to kind of get my fun like i'm just like if i can farm it and get my armor set then i'm i'm cool with it um but i do i, I yeah i it's interesting it kind of depends on what i feel like this particular one was like capcom being like this is sort of like a this is for the fan you know whereas the demo beforehand was like this is to kind of get people to know what rise is like you fight great azuchi you fight mizutsune if you never played monster Hunter before play our demo and buy our game i feel like the ultra hard demo was them just like all right cool let me just sh- let, give you so- give something to the fans and i think <laughs> it might have almost been one of those things where in some of the interviews like they even like uh Ichinose himself sort of said you know this game might be a little bit easier he said like you know village quest might yeah. not be as difficult and and historically that's been that's happened with Ichinose's games because he did it in generations he was like the game will be slightly easier because he wanted to encourage people to just like mess around with different weapons and arts and stuff um so maybe it was sort of his way of saying no the game is still definitely challenging don't worry you'll get clapped around that being said i guess it depends on the purpose like if it was a purpose of like getting people excited about the game it's probably a bit of a sort of depending on what you enjoy most it might have kind of pushed people away but i don't i don't think i think by this point i think people that were excited for rise like if we're hardcore fans we're buying it regardless like even if this demo didn't exist we're buying it if the people that wanted to kind of like learn about rise they would have already played the first demo maybe not come back for the second so i think really it's just like it's more just a bit of fun to kind of keep people busy so um hmm. I, I don't think it's i don't think it's necessarily an issue i do still think it would have been kind of cool to have given us a couple more minutes and then had like more people get the clear but then at the same time yeah. I guess it also on the flip side serves a good purpose because a lot of people are not clearing it. So then there's that anticipation of like, oh, I get to fight, I get to have a rematch in the full game. So maybe there's that sort of like excitement side of things. So uh, I, honestly, True. even like I mean, I, you know, I, I haven't I, I haven't done the I haven't got my solo clear or anything like that yet. So I'm I'm still uh I got close I got close, but I haven't done it myself. So I'm uh, I'm ready for my rematch in the full game, Mister Magnum. This is this is this is a trend <laughs> in the games though, right? They always have like some super hard, difficult monster in the. Mm in the like in the demo but like i don't understand why they wouldn't put like a almost apex version of the same monster into the full game and then you get like your loot and then there's kind of like that whole uh, um overcoming aspect plus you get a a Mm. reward at the end rather than just bragging rights for maybe maybe it's i mean maybe maybe it's like maybe it's sort of foreshadowing for like what their plans are because you know they they never really kind of talk much about like their end game plans right maybe they're gonna well they they didn't do it with like the previous demos for like world right so no true 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 and stuff like that so the past doesn't really dictate that they'll do it maybe it's a curveball maybe he's gonna be like you know what i've been telling you the game this game this game is easy uh when in actual fact at the end of it (laughs) bam magnum marlo he angry man true like (laughs) magnum marlo the god just comes out like Mm. final form Precisely. I quite so, yeah. like that he was so that he is so juiced in this demo like at first it's daunting but it, it really is like um rewarding when you kill him and it is like a not it's not a skill check of like are you good at the game it's a skill check of are you like insane with your weapon that you can keep damaging and dodging and do it enough over the course of like 10 minutes mm. to take him down because mm. it, it's i don't know there's just something about it that's addicting to me i know that not everyone has that like competitiveness to them but when when he takes you down it's like <sighs> another one you know <laughs> going yeah. back in another one. um and it's inspired me personally to try out like a lot of the different weapons just to see how i get on with them under that like yeah. that condition because i i'm normally a switch axe main but in this demo i was like i'm gonna use the longsword against magnum Allo. i can 
hit those counters, you know, I can keep on him constantly. And with the new Wirebug move of the Helmbreaker, you can literally just counter and cancel into Helmbreaker and repeat. And it's such a satisfying, like, cycle once you get into it. But then ultimately, ended up on Hunting Horn and it worked out, like... It, you, you never know where these kind is. of things. I always play the meta. Is. That, that's what he does. <laughs> <laughs> I nice. will just play whichever weapon is is the meta. That's just me. Exactly. I just like to do that. It's true. Um, but it, I don't know. Oh, some, it, it, it's all right, fun, let me tell yeah. you that from my experience, yeah. We went to bed, yeah. Like, I went to bed. And then I woke up like in the morning and I see Paradise is completed. I was like, this guy said he was going to bed. He's uploaded a video to Twitter saying, ah... Oh, Beat him easy mode. <laughs> <laughs> no, it didn't work quite like that. I beat him easy mode. <laughs> and then I was like, how did this man beat him? Like, what's going on here? So I woke up, tried a couple of times, still getting clapped, getting very, very low, but panicking once he got to blue. Like, I was like, I don't know. I was just panicking, getting super nervous towards, like, the end. And I feel like I could have beat him that morning, but, like, I, I just didn't have, like, the iron... Um, iron in my veins to make sure mm. that i could uh, get through that and mm. then finally after that we did some work and then we came back and then we went jumped on the demo me and paradise and then he brought his hunting horn and we just bodied it it was nice this, was this nice. is the if you like hunting horn guys this is it okay i don't know how i don't know what they did to the hunting horn but it is so good i i mm. never played hunting horn much in world or in any previous game it just was like I don't really want to buff. I want a DPS, you know. Mm. But now we've got it all. Both, <laughs> yeah. mm, mm, mm. Both at mm, the same true. time, simultaneously. Yep. Yeah. I think it, I think that specifically for the demo Magnamalo, that the hunting horn is really strong uh, because it mm. has so much like AOE moves with the melody and everything, and so you hit those different parts and you get those knockdowns really effectively. I think that that's part of it. Like maybe it's not gonna be like the case on every single monster that you're just able to destroy them on hunting horn but because of that part break mechanic on magnamalo i think that might be part of it mm. Mm. all right so i think that is our discussion for today on like magnamalo amazing monster mm. amazing time in the demo but guys i need you to do me a little favor and i want you to be as polite as possible in uh, when you're doing this right I just want you to do one simple thing for me, but be super polite when you do it. Could you just at Soxy Bear on Twitter and ask him if he's beat Magna Marlo? Just in the <laughs> nicest way possible, please. Oh, no. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing counts. <laughs> okay. That's a critical strike. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, all right, you know where it is as well, right? Whenever. Like a monster came up for Monster Hunter, like World, he'd always be like, Well, you guys didn't beat it day one. And it'll be like, We're playing in four player, getting mash up. I think he did it for, what was it? Was it? No, it was uh, Alatrion, when we didn't know like what weapons that we needed to use on Alatrion, and we we're just struggling through that fight. And Sox was like, You didn't beat it. Uh, <laughs> you didn't beat it day one. So this is my, this is my, um, this is my get back at him. So just ask him that, guys. Revenge. And this it, is my revenge. Just in the nicest way. But yeah. That's, what, that's all it is. At Soxy Big. If yeah. he's bitter on Lance. <laughs> as <laughs> nice as possible. That's it. As nice as Be possible. Like, please, sir. Remember. Please, sir. Have you defeated it on Lance? <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear, oh, dear. If you guys have any questions about Magna Marlo and uh, how we defeated him or whatever, mm. or if you just want to see our full run, it's on our channels as well, or you mm. would have seen some gameplay during this discussion of us uh, hitting the taps and whatever. There was actually this really funny moment where, like, I was super panicking during our run because <laughs> yes. Paradise was like, we're, we're getting super close to the end, and Paradise was like, 2 6, can you put down a trap? I was like, <laughs> Yes, I'll do it at any cost. And I was like, it's a bit risky, but I'm going for it. And this man, Magnum Marlo and Traps, he hates them. 
absolutely mm -hmm. hates them. I, yeah. I, sw I swear he has every other monster. You just stand behind a trap and they're like, doo -doo -doo, and they fall in. Magnum is like, I see your trap. I'm going to walk he around it in every possible he way. He, I'm just he like, knows, man. what the hell? <laughs> These monsters are getting smarter. They know what's up. Hmm? It's true. Next, it's true. Next he will be walks around that stuff like he's his name, Michael. Yeah. Like, literally. <laughs> Next, they will be put, taking up the trap and putting it on top of us and pitfalling trap. Yeah. <laughs> Can you imagine the old you imagine the, the, the <laughs> reverse card? The, the reverse card. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, um, just one more time, like you said, uh, the hunting horn perspective is on uh, my channel, and then the long sword is on two sixes. It's a really cool fight. Um. And yeah, if you have any questions about it, or just put in the comments down below what you think of the demo and how you've been getting on with mm. fighting Magnamalo as well. Yep, definitely. But yeah, thanks very much for watching, guys. Of course, be sure to keep it locked because we are now very close to Rise. It is next week. Uh, we're going to be busy. I'm looking forward to it. It's going to be fun. We have lots of videos for you guys. You definitely won't want to miss. So, catch you guys next time. If you want to catch more from us at Arix Gaming, don't forget you can catch the guys 269 Paradise Central and Vestmore streaming over on Twitch weekdays, playing a variety of games. If you guys want to jump in, tune in, watch, and even join in, then make sure you check them out. The links to those are in the description box down below. And of course, you can join the Discord to get involved in all of the discussions.